Hey guys, how's it going on? And today we're back for episode number one of this Crystal Palace career mode. If you're outside of time, please make sure to subscribe, turn the notification bells on, drop a like, and also go leave a comment and give us a follow over on Twitch. It means a lot to do that. Um, so yeah, we're going to be doing Crystal Palace for a few seasons, hopefully seeing whether we can... I think the overall goal for this series is I want to do the domestic treble. Um, I'm going to be setting out some rules for me. The first rule in which that I've done is I've set the transfer um, dealings too strict just to make it a little bit harder on myself. And as well, I'm going to make it a thing with obviously Crystal Palace. They do like to play their youngsters. Uh, so we are going to try and make a, a big effort, I think, to make sure that we are getting the um, young younger players coming through. Uh, so yeah, so I think we just get into it. And then guys, so we're here and we've got quite a few, we've got a few players who we're starting to look at now. We have now sold Milivojevic, also Scott Down has also left us, so we are looking at a replacement to him. I'm looking at the, what I think would be quite an interesting signing in that Phillips, but the one <clears throat> signing that I want to get out of the way first is probably the most key one for me. Um, I have been looking at the stats of both Eze and Elise, and I think to be honest with you, we could just benefit through having like someone who's just a bit more athletic, who's got a bit more... Stats well rounded. Obviously, we could play the fact of playing Ox a bit deeper, playing him with Gallagher, but I think this is the person who would uh, suit me most. Um, we will see how much we can get him for. Obviously, it will probably be quite a lot of the transfer budget. Um, obviously, Palace not being blessed with a lot of um, finances, but we do manage to get him for 15 mil. That's not too bad, that. I would take that for Oxley Chamberlain. <coughs> So let's just see going into this. I think obviously he will be a crucial player for us. I don't think there's anything saying otherwise. Four year contract, I don't necessarily think we'll be here for four years or he will be here for four years, but I'm more than happy with that and I feel, I don't think 80K, but I mean, would he take 50? He wants 50, so he's probably gonna want about, I would probably say about 60K will probably do him, but that looks very promising for him. But. The first signing we do get in then is Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. Uh, it does mean then that more than likely Kiarte is going to drop out uh, for a slightly less defensive option, but we'll probably have uh, Kiarte on the bench most likely instead of Jeffrey Schlupp. Um, that's how I think. And obviously then we can probably push these two for, for a bit further forward. I'll play a bit more like that. It's very it's very attacking, I am very much aware, but and obviously on games where things might be a little bit more uh you know, we're playing against a bigger team, we can probably push Oxley Chamberlain up and play a Kiarte to sit. Um but I think that's a very good first signing. Very positive. Uh I think the next one that I do want to look at is definitely Nathan Patterson from Rangers. Um so I have one point seven. I'd say I'd say like two point five million. I forgot to look at what my uh, my scout reckons we should pay. But yeah, I've I've been looking at someone like Nathan Patterson for quite some time, um, and I think obviously Joe Ward is he's not very good. But like my thinking is is that if we can just start blooding Patterson like the first half play Ward then bring on Patterson who's a little bit more of an athletic fallback we can definitely then look at bringing him in and I think that's a very solid signing for us again it's just bolstering up that bench of obviously it's a big step up on I know he's lower rated than Nathaniel Klein but at the same time if you look at the stats he's almost if we actually just compare the two as you can see, <clears throat> Klein is a lot better in terms of stuff that I'm not too fussed at, like shooting, I'm not really too bothered by. Um, obviously, we can see that Patterson's got quite some way to go in terms of his passing. I think that's a big area that we'll have to work on him. But in terms of physicality, he's better. Uh, you know, he's got a freestyle weak foot, which is very key. You know, being able to use that left foot as well as the right foot is going to be very uh, good for us. Uh, and then... Obviously, defending and dribbling, they're not very good, but hopefully, naturally, because he is quite young, he'll start developing pretty well. Um, so then, I think we go in <coughs> to 
Okay, I'll look debating between Jason Knight from Derby and Joe Aribo. And I think to be honest with you, I just think Aribo will I think it'll work a little bit better for us because he's got that physicality, you know. There's almost that that thing with Aribo if it's like you know, he kind of is a London boy, didn't quite work out for him, moved up north. Um so it's that thing of, you know, bringing him back uh, down. And I think that's a very Crystal Palace thing we're seeing, like, with a lot of Vieira signings. It's very... It's signings where you'd go, oh, okay, you know, this is someone who's going to be able to come in and do a very good job <coughs> for us. Um, obviously, as well, being uh, young as well, he's got a lot of room to develop. Um, and then... Do we go for Nat, Nat Phillips? Like, let's just look at our. The thing is, then it's like, I guess, like, because the thing is, we could have Kiarte to come off the bench. However, we have got Fergo, uh, Ferguson to do that. So I reckon, to be honest with you, maybe drop Kiarte. We have a lot of centre mid options, but obviously, it's quite a lot of them on the other side. But for me, Aribo comes in as a more well-rounded, probably the type of player who you'd bring Gallagher off for at half-time. Obviously, got Hughes, who's probably going to be that more defensive-minded person. I mean, we could even look maybe towards Jairo Riedewald, maybe, to come off the bench as that more defensive player. But I'm very happy with that so far. Um, I think, obviously, the main thing is to see how we do in-game. As my battery is show low. Blocked off the ball. So I will have to change them at half time. Remember kids, charge your batteries. We've not managed to have a shot yet, but I think we're I think we're doing decent. I nick that. To Ha. Through to Benteke, not really who you want running through on goal. We're gonna have to have a shot. Benteke! Oh! Benteke! Oh, I thought it were in. It's into turbo. I think this might end up being 1 0. That's very poor by Gaeta. And I think after us offering probably the better of the, the chances, Timo Werner slotted in. The defensive line is just shocking in the academy. Aribo very composed there, not as composed. Past that. They've hit the bar again, Chelsea. They're starting to kind of run riot. They've hit the bar again. Maybe we're starting to ride our luck a bit. It's a ball cannon down. Zahar's going to be on it. Zahar! <sighs> Sakaki under a lot of pressure. Puts him very near the keeper. Patterson again, brilliantly done. Zahar's not made the right run, but he was going to go on to it anyways. Azpilicueta's not quick enough. Zahar! Zahar! Come on! Let's fucking go! We have been knocking on the door for the best part of 20 minutes in this half. In game. And that is just brilliant. It's brilliant by Nathan Patterson. Honestly, that was just... It was such a good move. The way that we just moved that forward. I believe that's an assist for Christian Benteke. So, Connor, have a Malibu on that. Oh, that is just what you want. And now it's like, if we do well. The line splits, and it's a great save by... Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> 84 minutes. You don't want to be doing that. I'm surprised that they didn't punish us there. But we can come forward again. Patterson's first touch there maybe showing, like, not the best. Oxley Chamberlain's has been bullied there. I mean, that's why Pulisic as well. That's really poor. There are some players who, like, I will sit there and be like, yeah, not too bad. The shine. Oh, the shine is fucking beating us. It was coming. Okay. Zaha, Eze, 
He's shattered. Eze! No! Fuck it. <laughs> oh, he's bottled it. That's a... Oh, it's a great save by Mendy. Oh, that really hurt my leg, that. Mason Mount. Can't get it. It's a back post header. Oh, oh Anderson on the line. Oh. We swing one in. It's got lots of room. Oh, Mendy's blocked it in again. Oh. We have three amazing chances there. And Mendy is just, he's just won Chelsea the game. What an end to an episode. So we come out narrow losers against Chelsea. I can't believe that's just happened. Oh, what an end to an episode. So, as I said, we do have quite a lot of money left. Left to spend, I'd say. We've got about 16 million. So get in the comment section and tell me a goalkeeper to suggest. If not, I will go for... I'll go for a, a few and try and make it realistic. But until next time, guys, I will catch you on the flip side. Peace.